All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back. So we're going to check out Zephyr featuring Blade Boy's recap of the Avengers Age of Ultron. And it's called When Ultron Dismantled the Avengers. So Hot Squad, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Man is so useless, the only thing he can do against superpowered organisms is throw his only weapon. What is it going to do? Throw hands? <laughs> Bro, the disrespect of Hawkeye, bro. The disrespect of Hawkeye is crazy. All right, Jarvis, play me some. Already, the intro. Man, bro, not this. Just play this right here. My youngin put me on. So the scene starts and we see the Avengers in their prime. Back when Hulk wasn't hit with post-traumatic smoke disorder, back when <laughs> Thor wasn't built like Queso and he could actually walk through Damn. buildings without collapsing, and back when Captain America wasn't pushing on status. Oh I'm seeing all of them tweaking. I'm like, damn, who y'all going up against? The Golden State Avengers? Yeah. Uh, Cap sold ass all the Bleacher Report edits on Facebook and he was like, oh nah, we gotta go. But in all seriousness, <laughs> all six Avengers are out there tweaking for humans. I'm actually appalled at this point first the fraud league and now this i can't Ball even league. get a minute in these videos without some bs like i know they got the tesseract but bro where's the army you could have got this whole mission done with iron man alone like imagine clocking into work only to see thor and hulk at your doorstep <laughs> like y'all are so unserious look at cat just destroyed a jeep wrangler with a motorcycle bro y'all are just bored even the hydra leader knew he was gonna get cooked he was in there talking about some no surrender only to turn around and be like time a lot i'm turning myself in i'm not doing this and the boss is like you know what time it is we have to deploy the twins you want me to deploy the twins when they got six of them <laughs> no we're leaving but they look over to them and the twins have already disappeared and this is when we get introduced to them hawkeye's out there shooting snipers and one of his arrows gets blocked my man turned around and he was like nah no way i'm that ass has to be the lag this man really think he lagging in real time i'm so sick hawkeye tries again only to get hit with the <laughs> knocked Damn. right into the floor and this is when we get introduced to them. quicksilver Quicksilver. And to be yeah. honest, I don't even know if I want to call this man Quicksilver. Because if you just compare this man to this. Oh, bro. This was one of my favorite scenes ever in a superhero movie. X-Men Days Past. This whole kitchen scene where Quicksilver goes so emotional. I freaking love this scene when it's all in theaters. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, by the way. Uh, MCU's Quicksilver is I'm um, going to play Craven Hunter and Lieutenant Johnson, as you, as you may know. I love this scene so much, man. Not even close, but Seriously, trust me, man. I'm gonna get to this frosted flake bobblehead goofy. <laughs> he sprints off, allowing Damn. for the sniper to be like, "Oh, got his ass!" And blicks Hawkeye, and he hits the floor, screaming on the intercom. This shit hurt, though. Help me! Help me! Hawkeye, we can't take your ass nowhere. These regular <laughs> niggas, gang. This is home court. Man, you can't do shit with this nigga. Man, my fault, Twin. You gotta take his ass back to the jet. <laughs> With his trash ass. <laughs> Damn. And Love even that. though they overprepared, they had to lose one of the strongest members they had to bring back Hawkeye. Why are you on the team? <laughs> it's like these groups always got that one member that will Stop. always sell. Yes, I'm looking right at his black ass. But while all this is going on, Stark unlocks the secret door. Captain America takes down the Hydra leader only to get snuck by Scarlet Witch. Yeah, and Scarlet they put Witch. Widow mm -hmm. on Hulk duty. Again, you couldn't convince me they needed him outside for this. You brought out the Hulk to clip niggas with Glock 19s? <laughs> Of course, was right. Y'all niggas are wildin'. <laughs> Black Widow approaches the Hulk, and with one touch, she got the Hulk spazzing. This man yeah. is just like you niggas around the hose. You get a 10 out of 10 with some white toes lathered in Chanel perfume, they gonna have you like this. <laughs> but we get back to Tony and Scarlet, which got this I man think I've seen that before. He was getting flashes to Thanos' drip arc with captions like these, it get anybody tweaking. Man, hit that. This ain't Criss Cross. You can't <laughs> jump me. What that Stark's old ass in an aneurysm trying to understand that one. <laughs> and after seeing all that, Stark is like, nah, but you're just going to let him take it. Shh. He's gonna do the thing. What thing? <laughs> that's why he's there, baby. Yeah, that's, that's why, why he's, he's the goat. Like a dick, bro. What is you doing? <laughs> 
So the Avengers, after a hard-fought battle of fighting regular niggas, decide to throw an entire party for their victory. But before they get lit, Tony Stark and Bruce Banner create Ultron. And Ultron starts surfing through the internet, and he sees everything. What the fuck? <laughs> So we get back to the function and we immediately see some nigga tree. War Machine out here capping for the hoes. And I pull up, push this Matt Murdock nigga to the side. Go to Kingpin and I'm like, newsflash buddy, I'm the War Machine. And knock his ass out. Yes. My nigga, he would not say that shit. Bro, I'm saying that Matt Murdock nigga sound colder than you. To War Machine in 4K, he's just like them NBA players when they in front of Taylor Rooks. She's so fine, she not only got niggas capping, she got my boy Grant cheesing for dear life. Look at him. Yeah, that brother's starving. Got Bruce and Natasha flirting only for Cap to be like, you're cooked. What are you talking about? <laughs> she a bop, my nigga. And then he put him on to the bop lore. Got my man's falling to his knees like he dirt. And they even try to lift Thor's hammer. I know when Cap came up, Thor was shitting bricks. His whole legacy was on the line. But all this gets interrupted by Ultron. Yep. With no drip, no aura, no sauce. He really pulling up like this and he's still looking for smoke. This repugnant ass nigga. Like you so unserious, I'ma play the mini boss theme for you. Peace of our time. See. <laughs> the fight breaks out and everybody starts getting active. Everybody except for the Falcon. And I know he was here. I can see this hard, dark ass nigga from anywhere. But the moment it's smoke, he leaves. Like I know he's up to something. Just take a gander at this nigga. Once all the fighting's over, Ultron drops this. I'm in Sokovia. Pull up for smoke. Also, tell Thor here. I am not a female dog. <laughs> and after that run in, the Avengers really start pressing Tony Stark. But Tony, the type of nigga to stand on business, even 1v5, he is still 10 toes down. Walking up to Thor talking about something. Yeah, you got four movies and three of them smell like Taylor Swift. Let's really <laughs> talk about it. And then we got Bruce Banner over here like, come on, man, we're gonna go band for band with a god. And this man had Tony Stark hit the, I know you not talking. Got my nigga <laughs> hitting the brawn. He's on everybody's top today. And he was really out here frying this man. <laughs> and then Captain America's like, look, you can't build something like Ultron. If there's an alien threat coming, we will fight together. And if we lose, we'll do that together too. <laughs> Flag on play, this nigga is capping. Only mm. did he beat the brain cells out of Tony Stark just for avenging his parents. Mm. This man, Iron Man, was stuck on Titan with a grand total of four <laughs> dumbasses <laughs> and one actually good fighter. What did Cap have? Fighter. Everybody else. Who really a for self ass nigga? <laughs> we get the real Ultron beating the twins, and these MCU villains stay talking in IG captions. Hmm. Which is in the exact center of the city, the one that would be equally close to God. I like that. Uh, this nigga's spitting right now. <laughs> Even though this man is talking clean, unlike Thanos, he doesn't know when to stop. He could have just left it at that, but he continued to yap for another three minutes. Like my dog. Nobody's reading that. He gets the twins and make sure when the Avengers pull up, he is ready. But the Avengers pull up to the low and Ultron's just like, Great, they're here. Play my trap music. <laughs> and they start getting active off rip. They get to boxing and he hoes Iron Man on wake up pieces. Like, damn, that should be knocking the wind right out of your system. We get our first Quicksilver moment, and this is why I told you this nigga's a fraud. We get this scene, and all he does is chin check cap, looking like he's charging up the meanest what are those at a lunch table, and grab Thor's hammer, only to get knocked out. Like, bro, if this was OG Quicksilver, half of these niggas get it done like this. Saddest fall off of all time since Bruce dropped nobody off. I'm crying. We get to Captain America and quick! What is this nigga about to do? Choke metal! You legitimately cannot save this nigga at this point. Like this man still think it's a 1950s just cause it worked on Peggy. Don't mean it work here! The Scarlet Witch is tired of sitting on the bench and she gets to work. Started putting all the Avengers on that Graba straight leaf. Got him hallucinated and made him think Cardi was actually dropping an album. Nah, you're still dreaming, my boy. And she gets all of them down except for Hawkeye. The only time this nigga actually cooked. But Iron Man finally chases down Ultron only for him to hit this. Bro, you niggas are so stupid. Niggas <laughs> be bringing Hulk anywhere. Look where he at. I repeat, the Hulk is violent. Did he just suplex a nigga at Blue Jangles? Scarlet Witch hit that oh. man with that go, go, and he starts wilding. He's doing this. niggas like this. This this one, Tony brought the Hulk buster. This is one of my favorite scenes in the movie. 
Oh my word. I'm watching this jog to the floor. This nigga's a threat. <laughs> I'm watching this man spaz out like Jeez, he man. on three perks and straight acid. We geek hard? Nah, y'all geek atrocious, nigga. What happened to my man? Man, man, man. That brother is lost. But Iron Man was finally tired watching this yep. man crash there out and he spawns in the Hulkbuster. Yes. Right, uh, so we got the Hulkbuster Iron Man versus the Unincredible Hulk. Oh, so it starts Blade off Boy. with Bruce is out here walling out more than usual. Look at his eyes. Look how red they are. That Zod and turned him into a gremlin. He chucks a car at Tony and then shoulder checks him away. The fight just started and the property damage in this area is already insane. Taxes finna rise crazy. The Avengers doing their noble job of keeping everybody broke. Iron Man then grabs Hulk by the head and drags him through the concrete. Hulk can already only speak like two words at a time. Now he'll be fully illiterate. Makes it easier for Tony to be honest. Instead of hands, he could just defeat him with a complicated math equation. That what's two plus three finna bust his ass. Hulk kicks Iron Man away and then runs in just to get thrown into a truck. And the Avengers be so unserious sometimes. Hulk is eight foot, a thousand pounds. You cannot miss him. But Tony's looking around like, hmm, damn, where he go? Wonder if he's hiding <laughs> underneath that car. But <laughs> As Tony's looking to see which bad bitch he got a call to calm this motherfucker <laughs> down, scrolling past She-Hulk with a quickness, <laughs> quickness. his arm and starts ripping his armor off. Stripping a dude you beating up is a different level of beef, but Tony's <laughs> able to turn his arm, bopping Hulk away. Luckily, Tony has an extra arm, so as Hulk is charging in, they meet knuckle to knuckle with a punch, sending shockwaves <laughs> everywhere. They decided Damn. not enough destruction and pain has been caused to innocent people by their heroism, <clears throat> so they continue as Iron Man pins Hulk to the ground and starts turning his brain from a peanut to peanut butter. Go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. Hulk feels the intelligence being knocked back into him at this point and he can't have that so he stops Tony. But he gets his arm sucked in and he's trying to pull it out but can't. Iron Man really his pops dragging him away like a badass little kid. <laughs> Damn. Hulk punches Tony causing him to lose control crashing into the building. Then he comes out of absolutely nowhere hitting Iron Man with a right but gets <laughs> pinned up against the wall and has some of Sexy Red's breath sprayed in his face to try to knock him out. But Bruce was in the She-Hulk show. He's used to being around shit that stinks. Kicking Iron Man uh, away. And as Tony is trying man. to save people, Hulk is just like, man, fuck them Africans. <laughs> No wonder he was so quiet in Wakanda. Bro was scared this footage might have been <laughs> kicked away and then slammed on top of the head with the elevator into a disgusting right hook. And I thought the fight was over, but nah. Hulk still got more rage for no reason. Tony tried to fly away, but Hulk jumps on his back. And as Iron Man is trying to fly up, Damn. up, and away, Hulk is just decking him in the back over and over and over and over again. They eventually get all the way up into the sky, and Tony starts dangling this man by his foot. Not just that, but flies over a construction site, dropping him. And if that wasn't enough, just to make 100% sure we do as much damage as possible just to still not stop him, Tony shoots missiles and flies through the building Damn. pushing Hulk all the way down, having the entire thing collapse on the two of them. In hindsight, Thanos retiring this man in 20 seconds is very, very impressive yeah. because it took all of this and it still didn't stop Hulk mm. because he gets right back up but gets GG with I this. And after such a generational loss, after the Avengers beefing with their thoughts because of Scarlet Witch, and Hulk dealing with the fact that he ain't invited to no more cookouts, the <laughs> Avengers at this point have lost all their aura. Any yeah. kids coming up to him at this point gonna be like, Ain't y'all the niggas that lost? Embarrassing! <laughs> and the Avengers, after such a loss, cower up in Hawkeye's house in fear, only for Nick Fury to snap him out of it. There is no way y'all the same niggas I built up. Y'all are trash. I want you to notice how the most useful Hawkeye has ever been is when y'all wanna hide like some bitches. Y'all are cooped up in this whole ass niggas house. Tee up! And after that scolding, the Avengers finally tee up. And the Avengers split up into two groups. One headed towards the lab, and the other chasing down Ultron. They need to stop him from getting away with a new android and vibranium. That shit is made out of KSI's forehead. If Ultron <laughs> upgrades, it's over. We get to Captain. We're not even 10 seconds in his scene, and he already destroyed an innocent person's life. No amount of saving 15% off on car insurance is saving <laughs> them for this. They're cooked! But Cap hops on the truck, and him and Ultron get to square it off. And I'm not gonna lie, Brody's moving clean hitting this kickflip on his own shield hit him so hard ultron started hitting this me when next show you know come back Bumble god 
Did you just change that nigga's accent? <laughs> you still me help. Bro finally got a taste of his own medicine. It's about damn time. But these are literally the worst heroes we have ever seen. We got Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver saving more people than the veterans of this shit. You got Natasha real life speeding on stairwells talking about some meet me what? And Captain America's even worse using the vehicles of niggas that are still driving just to get this action movie ass shot. Like what type of heroes <laughs> are you? Look at this nigga. This nigga's whipping in knees. <laughs> I literally can't believe it. They got the worst heroics I have ever seen. But Natasha steals the droid and Ultron escapes, allowing for the Avengers to reconvene at the lab. They get back to the lab and Tony Stark's ignorant ass builds another robot. How many times we gotta teach you this lesson, old man? Stop! And we get a small tease of Civil War with this scuffle right here. The scrapping was quick until the point where it was not nothing serious, cause even Hawkeye got a cold ass moment. Up against Timu Quicksilver of all people, that's how you know they wasn't boxing for real. And while they boxing, we get Thor pulling up with this clean ass pull up. I'm like, damn! We gotta play some shit on that! <laughs> Thor uses his power to awaken the android and he awakens in the coldest way possible. Hey, Vision. Yeah, but music, this is where we get introduced to Vision. <laughs> and sadly, Vision's part of Opula characters where his introduction is cleaner than his entire time on the screen. This man getting the Thor cosign, that's Big Dog. Talking about how the Mind Stone's the strongest thing in the universe. Vision can't fall to anyone. I don't know about that one. This nigga got stabbed one time and he was useless for an entire movie's <laughs> mate. So one of y'all niggas lying. But Vision left a fantastic impression. Holding Thor's hammer with no effort and had the whole room silent. Just like if Kid Cudi was on stage performing. I'm not seeing enough movement. Head -head, nigga. But before we move on, there's a scene that I have to talk about. Just listen to this. I don't think it's that simple. We'll better get real simple real soon. Bro, what <laughs> the f are you talking about? We're trying to press vision? The human. Man, yo, I don't see it all, bro. I, I, I really, I've truly, I've truly. Oh, my camera is running out right now, so I'll be right back and switch it off because I'm seeing my camera right now said, um, I got two minutes of um, SD storage, so be right back. 20 minutes later. All right, hot squad. Got everything fixed. Let's continue. So we get to Sokovia and the final battle is officially underway. And the Avengers are actually doing their job in saving people. You would think this is a great thing, but the KD ratio these niggas have picked up in this movie is egregious. They're not coming back from this shit. But once they start fighting all these bots, Ultron decides to do it to them and drops a top three MCU monologue. Do you see the beauty of it? You rise only to fall. You Avengers are my sword, and hmm. the earth will crack at the weight of your failure. All you do means nothing when the dust settles. The only thing left in this world will be metal. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we meant actual metal? Oh, shit. I thought he meant music. I'm gonna still play that shit, though. But they're out there real life scrapping, using team moves and all. Shit look mad entertaining. I wish we had a game based on this. Oh, shit. And for oh, the yeah. first time in this entire goddamn movie. Th Which, by the way, I played the Avengers game and the story was actually pretty good. I haven't got a chance to play the DLC yet, but the story is actually pretty good. There's a battle where they should actually be bringing the Hulk. And this little yell he does before he runs off is so cold. Peep this. Now go be a hero. But Thor was out there cooking a little too crazy. And Ultron immediately got to hate him. Nigga, did I just get you trying to be some? The moment he's actually a good hero. And grabs this man for an ISO. And for an entire hour. This man is getting this shit cooked. Just cause he was too clean, niggas will come out of nowhere just to hate. But there is so much that happens in this final battle, I'ma have to speed run through a lot of this. While they out there boxing, Quicksilver gets shot by a bullet. I'm telling you, this is not my goal whatsoever. <laughs> Thor after getting fleeced by Ultron, my man hasn't moved in 10 minutes. Finally gets saved yeah. by the Vision. Holding his hammer and all and literally wipes Ultron's existence off the internet. Told y'all in the pull up video, this nigga has has hands 
And you see it too, right? I'm not tripping. He got domesticated by the white woman and became ass. <laughs> and we get this full scope Ultron warfare with this incredible widespread shot. Oh my God. Nah, <laughs> rewind this whole because he really thought I was going to let him slide. No, this no. man is so used to <laughs> the only thing he can do against super powered organisms is throw his only weapon. What is this nigga going to do? Throw hands? Man, wouldn't that be a sight to behold? Avengers Mightiest Hawkeye. Round one knockout by three pieces Damn. of tin soil. Y'all thought the Hawkeye slander was over. Nah, I am not done. The Avengers are heroes. Saving people gotta be within their top priorities, right? And this man, one of the original six, can't even save a child in the face of terror. This man was saving him and froze up once he saw smoke. Only got saved at the expense of Timu Quicksilver's life. It's like the old saying, ass flocks together. How are y'all this sorry? You know what, bruh? Y'all got it. I popped a vein against Cyborg last week. I am not doing that again. <laughs> Tired of watching this dog-ass, two-piece of trash, garbage, punk, funk, boo-ass nigga. God damn, truly bro. the police. Get him off the team. <laughs> if you need a nigga with aim, I got you. <sighs> God damn, so bro. the final battle wraps up with Ultron getting jumped. Hope wow. gives the fade away to Scarlet Witch so she can get back for her trash-ass brother. Sokovia gets destroyed by the only two good Avengers. Vision destroys the last Ultron, and the Hulk goes away for some reason. Hulk need new pussy. <laughs> That. I don't even know, bro. And thus ends the last time oh, the OG6 have fought together. I'm done with these niggas. I'm out. Oh, right. Wow. <clears throat> that was... That was... Bro, the, the Hawkeye 8 is, is freaking crazy, man. Holy crap. The Hawkeye 8 is crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Um, I had to delete some of my, video, my past videos so I can go back because I saw my camera actually... Um, trying to stop the recording, so I had to cut it off a little bit and go back to where it was. Thank God, because I have to restart the whole damn thing. So, uh, yeah, this this was a hilarious recap, man. Hilarious recap is that fire and Blake boy. Great job, y'all. Keep up the great work. Love these, y'all. Love these. So, Hulk Squad, that is my conclusion of my recap reaction to the Avengers Age of Ultron recap by Zephyr and Blake boy. So, if you enjoyed it, please hit that button, comment, share your thoughts. How many times you watch H.O. Ultron? What's your favorite MCU movie, etc., etc.? So, Hot Squad, I got one more, one more Zafari recap I want to do. And it says Justice League recap, and it's called How Seven Wolf Made the Frog League Lose Their Own Movie. So, yeah, Hot Squad, this uh, five back to back Hot Banger reactions today, man. So, I'm, I really, really appreciate doing this, y'all. Really appreciate doing this because I want to get this over with, so I have to worry about doing it next week. So, Hot Squad, Please stay tuned for that.